Interest rate just hit seven and a quarter. Oh my God, is the real estate pricing going to crash? Let's find out. Hey everyone, this is Zade Hanna with the Hanna Group here at Real Estate 38. And we always start with what's active and what's pending in the market. So we have a total of 569 actives. We've peaked just about 20 more than what the average has been, which was about 550. Total pending, still consistent, 444. Four, four. See, that column is not actually coming down. That would indicate for us here in the Bay Area, pricing is not going to crash. Is it gonna normalize a little bit? Yes, we saw 10 to 15% appreciation. But I'm gonna give you five reasons why we're not going to see that crash that everybody kinda was expecting and anticipating 2008 crash that we saw just about 14 years ago. Well, number one, if you really think about it, homeowners right now that bought in the past 10 years, they have more than double in equity into their home and their interest rates is sub 3%. So why would they let go of their home? Their mortgage payment is about 1500 bucks. It's actually cheaper than renting a new property if they let go of that one. Two, inventory. Builders learned not to overbuild, especially whenever there's a slowdown. So they've been preparing at this. In fact, because of COVID, supply chain issues and everything else, we are seeing less units from builders coming into the market. That's why we're seeing 50% less. Number three, there are no foreclosures. Why? Because banks learned their lesson. The guidelines are so stringent for you to actually buy a home. So anybody that owns a home is actually responsible enough not to foreclose. So it's a lot harder to get a loan. So when you get a loan, you are going to keep it. You're not going to foreclose on it. And then three, we have a pent up buyer demand that's been trying to enter this market with 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, and now seven. Now imagine if the rates retract, what will do to the demand? More people are going to be entering. And by the way, that's the millennial category. They're seeking a single family home, a townhouse, and a condo. They're simply saying, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to see more inventory and also to see the rates drop a little bit. And here's actually, I'm gonna give you a bonus, the institutional investor. No one is talking about those. This is a little bit complicated. These are the people that are coming into market, hedge fund money, saying, hey, I'm gonna buy a property and I will rent it for X so I can gain six, seven, eight percent as my cap rate and I'm also gonna sell it in the future to gain future equity. So by the way, those people enter whenever the market retracts about five to 10%, you'll see more institutional investors. Okay, not so much Bay Area, but Arizona, Nevada, all the Sunbelt states, they're entering and buying 500 houses at a time. So here's six reasons why real estate is not gonna go down. So if you find an opportunity and you do read that news and are we going to crash, click bait, just actually read the article. It'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you. If you're in the market, you don't know where to go, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to help. 408-515-1613. Bye-bye.